Hey, Barbara here. Now I wanted to jump in and do a mini training on how to stop being the world's best kept secret. Now, this is something that I get asked about a lot. Um, and it can be incredibly frustrating when you feel like you've got the skills, knowledge and experience and you get fantastic results for your clients. Um, and yet you feel like nobody has a clue who you are and that you're, you, you are the world's best kept secret. So if you can relate, this training is for you. So how do you stop? What do you have to do? So before we start, I just want to have a bit of a check-in. Often when we do any kind of work like this, it's a great idea just to check in and see uh, where we are and also to do a bit of an affirmation. So I want you to take a deep breath in, put your hand on your heart and say after me, I am done hiding and I am ready to share my magic with the world. I am done hiding and I'm ready to share my magic with the world. And I want you to feel it. I want you to step into it. I want you to have that intention. And also, I want you to see what bubbles up for you. If there's anything niggly that says, nope, I'm not quite done hiding yet. And just make a note of it. Just make a note of it. Okay, because the first thing that we need to do when we're moving away from being that world's best kept secret is to work on your mindset. Now, as you know, I'm a massive fan of mindset work because it's the foundation of everything. It's definitely the foundation to success in your business. Um, because when you do your mindset work, it will ensure that you're sidestepping any blocks that are holding you back. And in particular, the, the most common blocks when it comes to visibility are I'm not as good as somebody else or what I'm um, putting out in the world isn't good or is it, it's not as good as or it's not ready yet or is it good enough? You might also think things like, oh, I haven't got the time right now to be doing this or um, I need to do work on myself first. There might be all sorts of things that bubble up, but once you start to recognise them, you can do something about it. So that's why mindset is always the foundation. The next thing is to start growing your confidence. Now, if you've been in my world a, a while, you'll know that I'm a massive, massive fan of taking small steps to acclimatise yourself to be more visible. One of the blocks that I see or rabbit holes that I see people falling into or traps that I see people falling into when it comes to visibility is that they go all in and then they have a bit of a visibility hangover and they think, oh, crikey, what have I done? I want to delete that post. I've shared too much. I'm not, I'm annoying people. And they feel all the feels. And when we take smaller steps, we start to acclimatise. We start to get used to being visible and it just makes it a lot more easier, a lot easier, a lot more of a comfortable journey and you start to get momentum faster. Now, once we've got the mindset and the confidence out of the way, the next thing is to be super clear on your mission. So who is it that you serve and how do you help them? When you start to focus on this alone, um, people start to remember you and understand what you do. Now, the thing is that you could, you might say to me, you know, I can do lots of things and I've got lots of um, strands, uh, strings to my bow, which is fine. But I want you to really have a think about what do you want to be known for? What do you not want to be the world's best kept secret for? So what is it that you want people to think about when they think of your name? Uh, and focus on that, at least for the short term. You can always switch it later on, but start to be known for something. And then start showing up on social media where your audience loves to hang out. Now, this doesn't mean being in all the all of the places. It's just where your audience love to play out and then start playing out there with them and share loads of value to position yourself as the expert so that you're front and centre in their mind when the, they're ready to work with, on the problem that you're helping them with. And then start being consistent. Now, this is often a really big problem. Um, and again, it's a a trap that a lot of business owners fall into where they go all in and then they uh, stop and start and stop and start. And maybe you've fallen into that trap before. Um, the way that I kind of look at it is you want to be consistent so your audience starts to look forward to your posts. Just like you might look forward to some people's posts, you know, on social, or you might look forward to Maybe you watch a soap opera or maybe you watch a certain TV programme or maybe you listen to a podcast 
or maybe a, you know you, you always get the same newspaper and you look forward to that thing coming out you want to be like that so consistency provides reliability and that builds up that no like and trust factor and then you also want to start looking for opportunities to get in front of your ideal clients um and that can be different it depends on what your business is and it can be a different ways to do that but um, I want to invite you to start pitching yourself rather than waiting to be asked. Again, this comes back down to mindset. You want to be asking, not waiting for permission, but asking and taking your seat at the table uh, and betting on yourself. And again, see how that fits with you. See what bubbles up to the surface and see, again, what is holding you back in that way. And then um, to give yourself mini targets. Now, I'm a massive, massive fan of have targets but also tracking your progress tracking your success tracking what's going on because what gets measured gets done never a true word was spoken it's absolutely true and when you start tracking your results you start to get that momentum you start to get that snowball effect in your business which is where the fun is where the magic is where success lies often um so I'd love to know what your favourite tip was, but also I want to invite you to a masterclass, which is a 90 minute masterclass. It's called Too Good to Be the World's Best Kept Secret. It is for service based business owners who are done playing small. Um, and it, like I said, this is going to be jam packed full of goodness. So if you're interested, just pop me an emoji below and I will ping you all the details. So that is a, a masterclass, 90 minute masterclass. It's called Too Good to Be the World's Best Kept Secret. If you are done playing small, if you are ready to get yourself out there and start to get cl more clients, more success, just more credibility, then this is the masterclass for you. All right, hope you've enjoyed this little mini training and um, let me know what resonated with you or what you'd like more help with or if you want more details on this masterclass stick an emoji below and i'll ping you everything that you need to know okay i'll talk to you soon see you later